Don't learn SQL, learn data handling with SQL. What's up guys, Max here from Data Launchpad, the channel that brings you insider information from a real data analyst on how to launch your data analyst career. In this video, we're going to be looking at the real reasons why you should be learning SQL and what you really need to get out of that process. If you research on the internet how to learn SQL, you're going to find a lot of attention is given to syntax. Whether it's w3schools.com where you can look up the syntax to practically anything in SQL, or one of the myriad online courses and boot camps promising to cover every inch of the language, the focus is on the syntax. In fact, these courses are so focused on the syntax that sometimes the very course outline, the very structure of the course is organized around different parts of syntax. But there's a problem. Knowing SQL syntax is not an end in itself. There is no point knowing SQL beyond what you actually use it for. And that is as a set of instructions that you send to the database in order to handle and manipulate data and to get out of that data facts, meaning, and a story to tell. That SQL syntax isn't just words on a page for you to memorize, it is instructions to do really important critical things in data analysis, things like filtering your data set to focus only on the rows and columns that you're interested in, merging different data sets to unlock new insights, or counting and measuring your data set to present summary numbers and tell a story. So just in the same way that there's no point for a builder to learn how a hammer works without learning when and why you need nails, SQL syntax is useless without understanding the context of where and why you'll use it. It's having the full picture of that context of here's the type of business problem that I'll be working on in a given industry. Here are the different types of data sets that we would have to solve that problem. Here is the way in which I would need to handle and manipulate those data sets to get to the numbers I need. And then finally, therefore, here is the SQL syntax to do that data handling, to solve that problem. So my advice to those who want to get into a data analysis career and to learn SQL is to shift your focus from the SQL syntax onto the data handling, from the actual instructions that you need to send a database to what those instructions are doing and why you would need to send them in the first place. Now this isn't about dropping SQL syntax altogether, it's about a shift of focus. You're still going to need to know syntax in the same way that a builder needs to know how to skillfully wield a hammer. But here are the benefits of focusing on data handling first. The first benefit is that you are going to learn SQL faster and you're gonna do so for two reasons. The first is that you simply don't need to know all of the SQL syntax there is out there to excel on your job as a data analyst. As long as you know what is possible with data, as long as you know that you can merge, that you can summarize, that you can filter, and all the various ways that it's possible to do that, you can simply look up the syntax on the fly. I personally am very often looking up little bits and pieces of syntax to add to my code and make sure it runs perfectly. And so the risk of the bootcamp approach of learning all the bits of SQL syntax that there are is that you won't work out which bits of syntax and more importantly, which concepts underlying those syntax are the fundamental ones, are the ones that you're going to be using most commonly on the job and are the ones that are the most important for you to understand deeply. The second reason for which I believe you'll learn SQL faster if you take this approach of focusing on data handling rather than syntax is that you're going to have a framework ready in your mind. You're going to have context for what are the underlying concepts that you're then applying syntax to do. What are you actually doing here? And then it's much easier, I find, to remember the syntax once you've got that understanding. Not only will you learn SQL faster, you're gonna learn more transferable skills. You're not just learning abstracted words that apply in situations you don't really know. You're learning the SQL to solve real problems for real companies. Focusing on that problem behind the SQL is great practice for when you arrive on the job and you're facing a problem you've never seen before in a textbook or in a boot camp. On the job, no one is there to tell you which syntax should be used. The problem that you're facing isn't part of lecture three on counting. It's a broader problem that you need to break down into little bits 
and assess using a fundamental understanding of how data works, of what you need to do in each situation, in each part of those problems, and therefore what SQL you will need to write to solve that high level problem. And the second way in which you're learning more transferable skills is that your SQL skills will then transfer to other tools and languages. When it comes to data handling, all these tools are broadly speaking aimed at doing the same types of things, the filtering, the merging, the summarizing. Focusing on those underlying concepts means that when you move to a new company and you need to use a different form of SQL or you need to pick up Python or R or Tableau, you're gonna be able to do that a lot easier because you're doing the same underlying thing, just using different words. And so while SQL is a critical skill for anyone starting a data analyst career, what I want you to do is to get out of the mindset of learning SQL. I want you to learn data handling with SQL.